Hey everyone, it's Rod with Power Group. Welcome back on the pursuit of wealth. Your home for MJ stocks, crypto assets, and interviews. Also home to the best MJ community on the planet. Today is Thursday, August 24th. Hope you're well. And in this video, we're going to be discussing the stock Village Farms, ticker symbol of VFF. We're going to be talking about Pearson Farms CEO stepping down, which is 100% owned by Village Farms. We're going to discuss all that more. We'll take a look at the chart and what to expect in the days and weeks ahead in terms of price action. And then we'll also discuss the monster trade opportunity that I pointed out that actually played out. So congrats to those that bought the dip and benefited from that call out and that trade. But before we get to it, make sure to smash the like, help support me in the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. If you're new, you can subscribe, tick the bell, you'll be notified on any future videos or when I go live. Just before we jump into the details here, uh, if you go over to the store tab, I just launched the POW merch store. So getting a ton of new products on there and getting a lot of really great feedback. Already got a couple of orders and uh, showed it to Paul A, who was the first to purchase an order there on the POW merch store. But you can see there's tons of cool, cool items here. I really like this uh, this hoodie here, the Pursuit of Wealth on the sleeve. But yeah, there's these sandals are, are dope too, but you can check out all of this on your own time and it does help support me and the channel. But some really cool swag and make sure to give POW Group a follow on X, which was formerly Twitter. So again, at Group Pal on X, I'm going to be using that as my platform of choice going forward, really liking what's going on here with Elon at the helm. But go follow Pal Group at Group Pal on X. I also did a video recently on VFF beating estimates for their Q2 2023 earnings. If you haven't seen that, you can check that out. But I did mention it in that video. So this was from two weeks ago. And I did mention that there was a monster trade opportunity. You can see here, this was 12 days ago. This is the Power Group private community. I said, VFF, decent earnings and a reaction from the bulls just starting the monthly bounce. This could be a monster swing trade for those looking. If we go back to EMA 12 resistance on the monthly like Tilray did, that's about 107% gain. Clear stop loss, stop loss below 55 cents or 50 cents, depending on your risk. You could risk 50, 20%, 15 to 20% to make over 100% great risk to reward opportunity, in my opinion. And then it played out. Uh, it was up over 20% on the day, and that was back on August 11th. So this was back on August 9th, and then on August 11th, it shot up over 20%. So shout out to those who took that trade. Uh, but that was probably one of the easiest trades that I ever uh, that could I, I could ever find. Right? Like it, it was like I think it was almost 12 months, a whole year that we hadn't started the monthly bounce which will bring up on the chart here in just a moment. But like I said, congrats to those who bought that dip. And I've also speculated that Tilray brands could potentially buy VFF. If you haven't seen that video, I highly encourage you to check that out. But I give some some reasons why I'm speculating. And let me know in the comments below if you think that this could happen in the future. But speaking of Village Farms and Pure Sun Farms, and the, the changes that are going on, maybe this is signaling that we could potentially see a takeover by Tilray. Who knows? Again, I'm just speculating. I don't know for sure. But Here's the article from MJ Biz Daily. Change at the top of MJ producer Pure Sun Farms as Dosange departs. So Mandes, Mandesh Dosange stepped down as president and, president and CEO of British Columbia-based MJ company Pure Sun Farms. Orville Bovenshen has been appointed as the company's new president, parent company, Village Farms International, announced in a Tuesday night news release. Dosange will move into a strategic advisory position for a transitional 90-day period. Bovenshen Boven Shen joined Village Farms in 2021 as a Vice President of European Business Development and Operations and was appointed Pure Sun Farms Chief Operating Officer in 2022. He also formerly held several senior roles in MJ during which, among other things, he oversaw innovation and new product launches, according to Village Farms. In a statement, VFF CEO Michael DiGiglio? De Giglio? Well, what a, name, what a weird name. <laughs> I think I got that right. Said the leadership change comes as we are now executing on our strategy to meet the evolving preferences of the MJ market in pursuit to be a long-term profitable market leader. Orville has a strong track record of delivering operational efficiency and has led multiple initiatives that have improved quality and consistency across all Pure Sun Farms brands, said the CEO. Aside from its Canadian MJ businesses, Pure Sun Farms and a majority interest uh, has a majority interest in Quebec-based Rose Life Sciences. Village Farms operates a fresh produce business in the United States and in Canada, and a U.S. hemp CBD business through its Balanced Health Botanical subsidiary. So shares of Florida headquartered Village Farms trade as VFF on the NASDAQ exchange. And speaking of the exchange, we'll look at that monster trade opportunity and how I saw that uh, and how we could have predicted that that was going to more than likely be the next LP and, and ticker to, uh, to really see some gains in the Canadian space. I've been saying for a while now, 
that Canadian MJ in terms of charts and technicals looking way, way stronger than, than US MJ. And we've seen that over the last month or so where US MJ has been dropping to lower lows and MJ has been breaking to higher highs, right? Tilray up over 105% while some names in the US down, you know, 10, 20% during that same period. But also I got an email today uh, from Canacabana, which is the, which is the uh, brand, one of the brands from uh, High Tide. And there's going to be brand new, all new vapes from Pure Sun Farms as well. So that was some news that I that I saw that just came out. But taking a look at the chart here, you can see here we had the monster opportunity for a trade. So like I said, it was back on the 9th that I called it out. And then, so that the 9th was right here. So we were at the high of the day was 69 cents. And from there, from that breakup, we were up over 40%. So how did I know it was going to be a monster trade opportunity? You just zoom out to the monthly time frame and look at this chart. I mean, pretty much all MJ looks the same though, right? If you take a look at Tilray, for example, pretty similar. If you look at SNDL, pretty similar, right? All MJ, doesn't matter, you know, if it's US producers, Canadian producers, retailers, ETS, they all look the same, all down over 80, 90% plus from February, 2021 and all time highs. So VFF, it hadn't bounced on the monthly since all the way back here in August of 2022. So the high was at 353 on that monthly bounce. So this was the first time we bounced in 365 days, 12 months. So a whole year, we didn't start the monthly bounce. The bounce just means, what is a bounce? It's when we break the high of the previous candle. And because it's on the monthly time frame, we're starting the monthly bounce. If we lose the low of the previous monthly candle, that's just monthly consolidation. Consolidation means we're pulling back and bouncing means we're breaking the high of the previous monthly candle, or it could be the weekly bounce if it's on the weekly time frame, and we're breaking the high of the previous weekly candle. Or if we're breaking the low of the previous weekly candle, it'd be weekly consolidation. So even if you just entered here on this monthly inside bar bull break, so we had support there at 55 cents, 55 and a half cents. And then we had resistance at 0 0.7498. So, and then we had a monthly inside bar right here. And as soon as we broke 68 cents, that's when you could have entered. And if you entered on a break of 68 cents, you would have saw over 42% worth of gains. So that even if you just entered there on that break, but you could have got it near the low there, say at, a, at around 56 cents, and you would have had an, a gain of about 73%. So once again, congrats to the bulls. We were also monthly oversold. So again, if you don't know nothing about technical analysis, this is just an indicator relative strength index. If it's 70 or above, it's considered overvalued and overbought. If it's at 30 or below, it's considered undervalued and oversold. So Again, if you just kind of, if I'm not telling you to buy, sell, or hold, this is for entertainment purposes only. I'm not a financial advisor. I'll never tell you what to do. But if you buy when we're closer to monthly oversold and weekly oversold, and then sell when we're close to monthly overbought and weekly overbought, you'll do better than you know 99% of traders out there. But people only like to really buy when things are going up and they feel good about the investment. They don't like to buy it down here, right? And usually retail buys when things start to turn around. And when it's too late, right? Whereas market makers, they buy when they can, right? And when it's a good time to enter for the long term. So that's the difference there. And a lot of people kind of just, you know, they get caught up in the news and the, uh, you know, they make emotional buying and selling decisions, right? Retail like to, uh, they like to panic sell on the way down. And then they like to FOMO buy on the way up, right? Fear of missing out. So that's a recipe for disaster. But like I said, that was a clear trade there on the monthly time frame. So congrats to those that uh, took that trade. But taking a look here at the weekly time frame, we are going parabolic on the stochastic and the MACD, and we're still well above the 10-week moving average there at 69 cents. It's looking really, really good. And then we have nothing nearby until the 50 weekly there at 121. And then after that, we got some runway till about 306. But we are coming up on that 200-day moving average there at 105. So I wouldn't be surprised if we bumped our head there at that $1 psychological, the 200 day moving average, come down, you know, form some form some decent consolidation. If we take a look at the daily time frame, we're close to confirming a daily downtrend here with a high, low, lower high and lower low. So key support's gonna be 82 cents. If we lose 82 cents, we confirm a daily downtrend and weekly consolidation will be underway and we could potentially pull back to EMA 26, which would mean another seven to 8% of downside. But I wouldn't be surprised at all if we start to see weekly consolidation, pull back maybe even around that 75 cent psychological. And then we start to make our way back up above that 200 day moving average. And then if we get over 121 there, that 50 weekly, we could easily go up to $3 in a hurry. But going down it there, let me know what you think of this news of the CEO stepping down. And uh, what do you think? Could VFF potentially be acquired by Tilray Brands? Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I highly encourage you to check it out. And uh, that'll give my thoughts and opinions and my thesis and my my speculation as to why I've been thinking that, uh, but an effort of time not going to get into it in this video, trying to keep the videos around 10, no longer than 10 minutes. Uh, a lot of people have been asking for that. So 
um, like I said, a lot of people asking for the merch as well. So I, you asked, I delivered on that. You can check out the merch store. You can go to palgroup.ca or pursuitofwealthgroup.com and then click on merch at the top, or you can just go to my YouTube channel and then click on the store tab. But going to end it there, it's Rob with Pal Group. Thanks again for joining us in the pursuit of wealth. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this news in the comment section below. We'll continue the conversation there. See you on the next video.